I think everyone wants to become a sommelier because probably the same reason everyone suddenly wanted to become a chef. You had these uh, uh, glamorous sounding positions and when you consider the things that sommeliers get to do ostensibly, taste wine all the live long day and, and chat to people about it, it seems like a very seductive idea. The making of a great sommelier is actually a much more complicated thing. A great sommelier certainly has a palate, so has a, a deep understanding and appreciation and knowledge of wine. But given that the sommelier's primary job is to sell wine, they have to have a great uh, personality. They have to be able to sell something. They have to be someone that you want to talk to. So you have to want to talk about wine, but not too much because you know that's that's oppressive, you know, to, to diners too. It's a really de physically demanding job. It's someone that's going to be on their feet practically all the time, 12 hours a day. That's going to be moving cases of wine, and I think that's why you have sommeliers at their um, peak of their profession, almost like athletes you know, in, their, in their 20s and, and early 30s. You don't see a lot of old sommeliers in this country. So you have to have a, a great spirit, great knowledge, great physical capacity, and I think a tremendous degree of patience, because you know, you're dealing with the public after all. A bad sommelier is someone that doesn't listen to the uh, to the diner. A bad sommelier is someone that foists a wine on you that you do not want. The worst sommelier is, is someone that doesn't listen and then upsells you. If you say a price range, it's like, oh, you know, you can actually do much better if you spend another $70. Um, so a bad sommelier is focused on making money and not making you happy. And, and I think that shows right away. I think a great sommelier can make you want to want to go back to a restaurant. I mean that, and, and, and a great sommelier is a great salesman. A great sommelier is someone that uh, has a passion for wine and the ability to transmit it to someone, and, and that makes you want to taste that wine and have that experience. And a great sommelier is is inspiring to me, and I think to anyone that, that dines in a restaurant.